Hi guys, this is Nazrul Almira, back for Visual Real Estate Consultants. Today we are going to be talking about a very integral part of the core real estate market. Something that I personally feel should be made compulsory before you purchase a property in Goa. Now, what I am referring to is the process or the activity of issuing a title report for your property. Now, what is a title report? Well, in its most basic nature, a title report basically implies to the very broad description of the property right from the time of it being recorded in any books of the respective government gazettes or the land and record departments and this gives you a basic idea of how the properties has been passed on from generation to generation or within the same family or passed on in terms of sale to other people to other uh, other uh, uh, investors or buyers and how it has reached this point so far so why is it important a title report is very important because the goan the the rules and regulation or the legal activities and restrictions of goa are much different than other states of india and as such the process of inheritance the process of purchasing the process of sale is much different and it gives a huge range or huge wide range for other people to actually have a stake in these properties irrespective of a sale lead being executed clearly at the end of the day there are many things and multiple sources from via which a respective property can be challenged and this is where a title report or a clear title becomes very important now this over here is a title report in front of me and we are basically going to be discussing what does what is it that makes a title report what does one need to do to get it how do you get one what is the cost things and these are the basic ideas of what we are going to be discussing today in terms of a title report. so to begin with what do you exactly need to issue a title report now a title report as i said it gives you a basic history of the entire property right from the time of it of it being recorded officially in papers of course once upon a time it was more of a mutual understanding among the villagers it was it was more of a system wherein the el the elderly in the village uh, the kofraria and as well as a lot of uh, religious uh, leaders in the region they had a lot of control it was a mutual understanding everybody knew what they owed but of or what they owned but of course over the time they had to develop a system that could actually enforce the enforce everything legally because the families were huge the there had to be partitions there had to be uh, successions that had to be done and basically the 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 history that was recorded of this property is what leads to the issuance of a title report now what do you basically need for a title report for a lawyer to actually give his word and say that this property is clear or this this is the respective description of a respective property now a title report basically includes for so for a lawyer to for a lawyer to issue a title report one has to provide a uh, document such as inscription description inscription on description we call them cadastral plan a master certificate form 1 and 14 survey plan now in terms of ownership documents this can vary if if it's a first sale like if it's been purchased by somebody and he is selling it immediately it would require a sale deed if it's a if it's a process if if it's a property that has been inherited then you'll re you'll be required to show the inventory proceedings the succession deeds and much more such related uh, ownership documents then you also need to provide a certificate called nil encumbrance uh, a zoning certificate form 3 form 9 and this is what basically makes up uh, uh or gives the ability for a for a respective property lawyer to give you a good uh title report for the respective property of course they will do also do their due diligence to find out more respective details of the property and give you a properly documented sheet of probably more than 5 to 10 pages between that given the size and the history of the property now what does this imply to you and why do you have to pay for this This basically tells you whether this property is good enough and has been clearly authorized for the purpose of transfer. We live in a state where the where the rules and regulation and restrictions govern the transfer of property very strictly due to n number of activities that have occurred in the past and I'm pretty sure you have already heard 
about a lot of stories where properties were not transferred properly people have uh, challenged the sale lease people have challenged the passing on of a property and that is where it becomes very important especially in the modern world with gen- with the properties being passed on from generation to generation from owners to owners it becomes very important for you to issue a respective title or to ask for a respective title now who pays for a title report basically if you are the person who intends to purchase a respective property it is your duty to do the due diligence to ask to to issue a title report as a seller if you as a seller it is their responsibility to provide you all the documents such as inscription description cadastral plan master certificate form 1 and 14 survey plan the ownership documents nil encumbrance zoning certificate form 3 form 9 it is their responsibility as a responsible and ethical seller of a property to provide you all these documents so they need to incur the cost to make sure that they have these documents as a seller and you need to incur the cost of issuing a title report now you are free to decide whichever lawyer you need to go to always go to a lawyer that he has that you have selected out of your own will and that has not been provided to you by the seller himself because i do not mean to say that lawyers can do something but it, it is always great to have the independence when you are going to be investing your hard earned money and of course you need to be do your due diligence and even the lawyers would suggest you the same now how much it would this cost a lot of people have asked me and a lot of people for some reason they would not want to do these things they would not want to ask for a title report because they have to pay for it as a buyer and according to them it would increase their cost but according to me what i feel is that this a title report is a highly integral part of you purchasing a property in in goa and in fact to a point i would say it should be made compulsory and like to should not go ahead without asking for a title report or without you getting a title report now of course in certain scenarios it can be a 50 50 wherein the buyer also pays the seller also pays if you're if it's that kind of a sale uh, wherein both the parties are involved Uh, and are willing to compromise mostly so far in our experience mostly the buyers pay for it it's very rare to find the seller that actually willing to pay for any, anything in general but of course it is their duty to make sure and pay as a seller for all the documents that have been spoken about over here now again coming back to the same question what is it going to cost now title reports hold a lot of uh, weight in fact they can be if you if certain title reports have been issued from some very high end lawyers from very popular lawyers who have a lot of uh, influence in the real estate market of goa that title report being issued with their signature on it would really add even more weight for the property for you in future if you ever intend on selling the respective property so in terms of costing it brings into picture multiple factors such as it might not usually but it may bring in certain factors because the fees dif- differs from person to person and it can cost you anything between 25000 to 60000 might even be 15000 if you go for more of a a new lawyer more of a <coughs> Uh, a, a lawyer who's just in his beginning uh, phase of his career but the more experience that you find and the more leverage that this respective lawyers have their fees will be accordingly more personally i would say of uh, uh, anything between the range of 20 to 35000 is the perfect range for a respective uh, title and it would really be more than enough for you to spend on in this in the issuance of a title report now a lot of times a lot of my clients do ask me there's this property that uh, we are intending a project on and then they that they intend to purchase the seller already has a title report issued by a very famous lawyer or somebody of great uh, leverage in the industry should we make another one to which i always reply by with, by saying that if you ever were to purchase a second hand car you are not going to be bothered by the fact that this car was new once upon a time when this respective buyer had purchased it you're always going to look at it for its present value likewise when you purchase a property you want to see its present value you need to see you, you need to look through it and go through its present problems it's if, if if there were to be any so when a respective person or a previous or the current seller he gives you a title report that he had made at the time of his purchase that does not necessarily mean it could be the same during this large period 
So that is the reason why you need to make sure that you as a respective uh, purchaser for a property ask for the respective documents to issue another title report because you need to know the current situation for the property, the current problems of the property, the current uh, the, the status that the property stands on up uh, up to date not the past not not the not the title report which was issued three years back five years back six years back within this period something could have happened to the respective area there can be some encumbrances against the area there can be some case registered against the, the property there can be some uh, family members challenging the transfer of the property and that is what would make you be in a much better position to understand whether this property is meant for you or if it is not meant for you and whether whether when you purchase this respective property would you be the would you have the entire ownership of it or there is any chance that somebody could challenge the very basic ownership for the property and that is why it is very important for you as a seller as a buyer of a property to make sure that you incur this cost of a title report probably try to negotiate it within the deal in terms of costing if you wish to and make sure that you are you have taken the right steps to keep your money safe and finally to give you all a basic gist of what comes in a property title this is a property that is located somewhere in saliga i would i cannot disclose the details of it of course but this property this title basically contains uh, the reports of the history of this property right from the year 1956 up to the the last owner in 2018 and uh, this contains uh, the the details of every property being passed on from each owner in this case it is six owners so far and how the respective proceedings of transfer was were held and how the property reached to this respective uh, point and this also helps you get a very good understanding of where your property stands in terms of uh, transfer of ownership the whether if uh, whether any encumbrances or whether any debts have been held against the property and that is why i said that the property title is an integral in fact a compulsory part of purchasing a property in Goa and uh, this is something that you should not avoid please do invest the money and also try to make sure that you go for a good lawyer and don't try to cheap out on these things because they are one last safeguard for you as an investor in a property to make sure that your money reaches the right place my name is Azul Almeida thank you so much guys please follow subscribe and share the content for all those who, who the such content can be useful for uh, I will be coming back with much more content to help you guys understand more chapters and more segments of the Goan real estate market.